This time Hamilton was healthy, Voskel was not. Would Syracuse make adjustments? Said junior Ryan Blackwell. It doesn't change anything. Same focus, same game plan. Different venue. The Carrier Dome. There's Voskel sitting out again. Richard Hamilton did play and was an impact player. Edmund Saunders with a steal to Khalid El Amin. The shovel pass to Hamilton. 2015, UConn was down though. The Orangemen playing UConn tough first half. Off the missed free throw, Eton Thomas fighting for position, grabbing the board, the follow. Orange led by two at the break. Second half, all Huskies. El Amin starting the break ahead to rip. The quick pass to Rashamil Jones for the lay-in. UConn by two. Moore Husky pushing it up and up and up the floor. Richard Moore finding El Amin. The slash, the finger roll, 21 for Khalid. 35-29, UConn. UConn playing unselfish hoop. Hamilton with a dish to E.J. Harrison. He's going to find Saunders. Nice bounce pass. Huskies running away, 52-37, they just shut the door. Harrison forcing the turnover, looking up ahead to Kevin Freeman, share the wealth. Jim Beheim can only watch the pounding at home to those Huskies. Hamilton and El Amin combined to score 47 of the Huskies' 70 points as UConn wins the Big East Championship outright for the fifth time. Facing Purdue, Mateen Cleaves. The dish to Andre Hudson. Wow. Retired at 13. Later in the half, it's Cleaves again. Getting caught in the air, and then the pass to nobody. All right, he's not perfect. Alan Eldridge the other way for two. Purdue up one, and Tom Izzo, the coach, very frustrated at that moment. Second half, Ryan Cardinal. Strong on D with a steal on his knees. And then to get the pass down court to Maynard Lewis to tie the game at 30. Michigan State would take over when they need to down the stretch. You knew you were going to hear from Morris Peterson. And then Antonio Smith with a J. Jason Klein, easy lion, caps a 22-7 Spartan run. And Michigan State wins 60-46. to The 15th straight win. Smith, bounce pass. Tayshawn Prince can't connect. Off the tip, Scott Padgett is there. Kentucky led by five. Padgett with ten points. Volunteers trying to tie it up. C.J. Black getting the pass inside. His shot blocked. Vincent Yarborough is there for the follow. We're tied at 51. Volunteers continuing to drive. Tony Harris to Isaiah Victor. Victor with 11 points, seven rebounds. 30 seconds left. Kentucky trying to stay in the game, although they're down five. It's Smith driving. No way. Scott Padgett, he can't grab the board. Torrey Harris will come up with it for Tennessee. The Volunteers sweeping Kentucky for the first time in two decades. That's why they're all out on the court celebrating. Tony Harris led Tennessee. Cougars went 16-0 in the conference during the regular season, and today took a 24-game overall winning streak into the conference tourney final against Appalachian State. Coach John Kress says his team plays meat and potatoes basketball, a synonym for being fundamentally sound to the activity. First half, Mountaineers up seven. Matt McMahon will drain the three. He had four of those and 15 points in the game. Appalachian State actually up by 10. Would we have an upset? Early second half, Shane McCravey to Carlos Brown. Charleston takes its first lead of the game, 38-37. Danny Johnson, 21 points. Cougars up three. Just under two minutes left. Charleston up two. The 5'11 McCravey penetrates. Somehow gets his own offensive board. Finished with six. Puts it up and puts it in. So, College of Charleston sweeps all the way through the regular season and the conference tournament. They win it by the final score of 77 to 67. 25 in a row for the Cougars as they head to the NCAA tourney as a Southern Conference tourney champ. The Cougars, the first Southern Conference team since Furman in 1975 to go undefeated in the regular season and also win the conference tourney. Ohio Valley Conference tourney final, Southeast Missouri State against Murray State. Aubrey Reese. Tough off, balance, Jay Murray State up to 14 seconds left. But Con Cotton here from no man's land. That's good. Southeast Missouri State up one. Celebration, watch the gum. But hold on. Down to two seconds, down to one. Puts up the running jumper. He got it. He got it. Unbelievable. They win it on that shot as Reese scores a game winner. An incredible finish there. Murray State wins it 62 to 61. As the Racers win their third straight conference tourney, they've now beaten Southeast Missouri State 15 straight times. Kansas got off to a fast start. Jeff Bochy off the turnover. Eventually it's going to come to Kenny Gregory. He finished with nine. Kansas up 10 at the half, but watch out in the second half for the Cyclones. And Martin Rancic, he did some things. Bombs away for three once. Bombs away for three twice. 
Finished with 11 points. His third three right there. We're all tied at 48. We're now tied at 50 inside of a minute to go. Marcus Pfizer. Where's the defense? Kaboom on the inside. Iowa State up two. 3.8 ticks left. How much time, please? Last chance, and it's a turnover. So Iowa State pulls off the victory by two, 52 to 50. Kansas scored just 10 points, the final 15 minutes of the game. The A-10 best owls reminiscing with the Minutemen. Larry Kettner hammering it down. That's nasty. UMass up three. Second half, Temple still down three. Kevin Lyde. Rejected by Larry Kettner, and the Minutemen go on the run. Monty Mack. The other way. Didn't have it, but Mike Babel did to tap it in. Still second half. UMass had a game plan, and they were on the run this time. It's Mac looking ahead, and look who's all open for the U. Kettner with eight points, and UMass wins it, and John Chaney is disgusted. Just don't send him any mail. Monty Mack leading UMass with 18 points, including five. End of the first half. Clock ticking away, as you see Antonio Reynolds. You're kidding me. It counts. 34-31 Rhode Island at the break. Late second half. Rhode Island trailing by five. This time the alley-oop to Ed Brown. He had 22. URI within three. But Fordham was just too strong. Using the nice backdoor situation to Johnson for the slam and Fordham wins it. Fordham wins it. That would I, what I would be trying to say by four points. Fordham did finish 5-11 and 11 in the conference, but this was their best season since joining the Atlantic 10. Yeah, 20 seconds left. Colgate with the ball down by three. Mike Tilly got the three. We're tied at 71. Lafayette coming right back. 10 seconds left. Mike Eilers drives. One-handed shot. It is good. Red Raiders up by two. One last chance. They have to make sure they Pat Campoliata drives down court. He gets it off. And, no, just short. So Lafayette advancing with a two-point win, 73 to 71. Leopards looking for their first NC. Mike Fagis. He's got some ability. Jams it down. Delaware up early, 8-2. Second half. More Pagis. Off the miss. Pagis, one of his 11 rebounds. Blue hands. That's your name, great name. Blue Hens now up 63-40. Delaware now pulling away. Begeese, another great move. He had 32 points in the contest, by far the best player on the floor. And Delaware wins big, 90-73. to John Gordon chipped in with 18. Delaware has now won. Marcus Fazan, and Fazan could be nasty. He led all scorers with 19, Siena 15. Eight ticks left. Dave McGarity calls a T.O. Maris needs a three to force O.T. Bobby Joe Hatton. Bobby Joe giving it up to Tomas Sella back for the useless dunk, and Sienna wins it by one to go to the MAC final for the second straight year. Sienna getting 12 points from Scott Knapp and move on to face... Semias, Evansville, and Bradley. Second half, Rob Dye drives, hits the lay-in. Bradley within one. Bradley now down, 55-54. Gavin Shire drains the three to give Bradley the lead. Late second now. The bounce pass to Craig Snow. A nice turnaround jumper, 61-58 Evansville. Evansville's next possession, Snow. That's a tough jump shot, 63-58 Evansville. 13 seconds left, Bradley down three. Eric Roberson, oh, Evansville, 64-63. The top-seeded Purple Aces survived. Marcus Wilson led the way with 23. Evansville will meet Creighton in the finals, who beat Southwest Missouri State for the third straight time. Top seed Maryland, Baltimore County versus Central Connecticut. Rick Mickens for CCSU makes the steal and gets it ahead to Victor Payne for the jam. Central Connecticut State up 10, but UMBC trying to hang in. Terrence Ward makes the steal and goes all the way for the lay-in. 24 points for Ward. Retrievers down nine at the half. Second half, all Blue Devils. Different Blue Devils. They move it inside to Sharon Watson, who misses. Horsley Edwards does not. Edwards had 23 points. Central Connecticut State wins 82-72. They advanced to the conference final a year after falling to qualify in the conference tournament. And 68-66, Mount St. Mary's a winner. The six-seed Mountaineers entered the tournament having lost three straight. Butler and Wisconsin Green Bay in the Midwest Collegiate Conference semis. That's a mouthful. 30 seconds left in regulation. Wisconsin Green Bay down by three. Ryan Borowitz knocks down the three. We're tied at 50. We're going to overtime. In double overtime, the Phoenix down three. B.J. LaRue hits the leaning three. Tied again. Headed to triple overtime. In the third overtime, Butler takes over. Michael Hicks strips LaRue and takes it the distance for the lay-in. Butler wins 68-65 and advances to the finals.
of the Midwestern Collegiate Conference. They survive the Bulldogs. The two-time defending tournament champs will face Detroit in Tuesday's final. Niagara and St. Peter's first half, MAAC Player of the Year, Alvin Young for Niagara, showing why. Creating, floating, leaning, getting. Niagara up 12 at the half. Second half, St. Peter's defense picks it up. Jamar Hunter with the steal, and he takes it the distance for the lane. St. Peter's to within eight. And then more from Hunter. Shot clock winding down. Hunter bombs away from the outside. St. Peter's takes a 65-62 lead. Peacocks put it away. Kamal McQueen, the lay-in and one. St. Peter's upsets number one Niagara. The fifth seeding Peacocks knock off the top seed Purple Eagles. They'll face Siena in Monday night's championship game on ESPN. And up eight. Jason Muscari with the steal. George Evans ahead of the pack. George Mason up by 10. But ODU would come back. Cal Balder off the missed three. Gets the rebound. Get the put back. After the free throw, George Mason lead down to seven. A little over a minute to go. George Mason up. Shot clock winding down. Mascari. Oh, that's scary. George Mason wins it. 63-58. The Patriots are going to the tournament for the second time ever. They'll enter the big dance on a 10-game winning streak. So who's in? We've got six teams in already. Samford from the...